Welcome back to Channel M today. Now, Jets are rock band from Australia and they've sold four million records worldwide and they're in Manchester tonight. Two of the four are here with me now, Cameron Muncy and Mark Wilson. Guys, thank you very much for joining us on the sofa. Should I be offended? Where are the other two? Um, <laughs> they, they didn't want to come see you today. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> you two handsome fellas will do. I'll do. Um, what brings you to Manchester? Uh, we're doing a show tonight at the Ritz. So um, that's, what, that's what brings us here, coming through. Uh, Promoting our album, our new album, Shaka Rock. And is this your first time to Manchester? Oh, no. No, we've been here a lot. We've been here maybe six or seven times. Lots of times, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, what was the gig we played last time? The Apollo. Was it? Done Apollo, the Apollo yeah. and, yeah. and the, all the academies. And what was the little place we first did? It was like the garage or something yeah, yeah. like that. <laughs> something, it was some little okay. tiny place. Mm. That was years ago. And do you enjoy this whole gigging, going around? Definitely. Yeah. And it's fun playing, a city like Manchester, you know, it's fun to come to because people are up for it and they're music fans, you know, uh, you know, history shows that they're music fans and they always have good fun at, uh, at, at Manchester, you know, jet gigs in Manchester, so it's good. Well, I was having a look on your website and you've got uh, blogs and notes from people from Argentina, France, Holland, worldwide. Now this, that must be a big accolade for you. It's quite unusual for a rock band to be that well known. Yeah, it's interesting, like people from all over the world and we do get like the South American thing and we, um, we, uh, we really hope to go down there soon, you know, because we like, each new country for us is like, you know, it, it, it makes it really interesting for us, you know. And how long have you been together as a band? Well, well the yeah. first record was the, released in 2003. 2003, well, I mean, obviously been a band for long before that, you know, it's sort of... You kind of start bands when you're 16 in high school and then after years you start making records, or, you know, almost. So. And I suppose it's sort of... Because gigging almost... You always hear when you see people being interviewed, oh, we're so tired, we're, we're exhausted from gigging, but surely that's just putting in the groundwork to a huge, successful career. Yeah, I wouldn't, yeah. like, start talking about like that, you know, complaining. I mean, seriously, like, we don't have to get up and, you know make buttons, you know, for shirts or anything, <laughs> like we go and play shows, so yeah, uh, we feel pretty lucky to be able to do it. Even if you are tired, it's, if you're whinging about it, you're an idiot. <laughs> yeah. It's not that, you know, you're just in a band. Get over it. <laughs> OK, let's talk about, so if people don't know the music that you do, who influenced you for the music that you make? Oh, wow. I have so many bands. I mean, I know that um, oh, we could sit here for days and, and talk about bands that we listened to when we were younger and stuff, but... Um, I guess, uh, you know, we, we love ACDC, but we, know we don't really sound like ACDC, no. you know. We love the Rolling Stones, but we don't really sound like the Rolling Stones. We, we love Daft Punk, but we don't really sound like Daft Punk. We, we love like... uh, Hall & Oates, but we definitely don't sound like Hall <laughs> & Oates. <laughs> well, I was reading in your, your biogs that you you very much influenced by your parents' music, because I think a lot of us are, aren't we? And it doesn't necessarily mean that that's what you then go on to make, it just means that you appreciate music. I think it's where you kind of, sometimes where you start, you know, it's either, I think people either get into what, you know, if their parents have got good music taste, they'll get into that, or they'll rebel against their parents' awful music taste and go find something for themselves. It's funny when you're a kid, you know, and I remember my mum, like, was a huge Blondie fan, and, like, when I was younger, so therefore I thought Blondie was really uncool. And, you know, Whoa! Right, yeah, because, no. because my mum listened to it, yeah, and then I grew up a little bit and uh, realised that Blondie are actually really, really cool. But, um, you know, when you're a kid, you sort of, you make that thing. Yeah. Mum equals uncool, right? But <laughs> so, <laughs> so where are you playing this evening? At the Ritz. Ah, the place of the bouncing dance floor. Yeah, we've never played there, so it's going to be good. It's got a pretty sticky floor, so I don't know if those people are going to get off the floor too high. <laughs> <laughs> the whole dance floor resonates. It's yeah. really, really cool. They'll try to launch, but yeah, they're like stuck to the, the carpet in there. Uh, what time does it all kick off? I have no idea. Are you probably 9.30. 9.30. Oh, we're we're I'm probably on at 9.30. Well, I'm in bed by then. Oh. But that's just me. Younger, cooler people won't be. Um, and are tickets still available? Can people just rock up and come in? Yeah, rock up, I guess. Uh, I think it's probably pretty close to selling out. So if you're going to rock up, you probably want to get there about 7.30 or something. Fabulous. All right, guys, thank you very much. Good luck with it, OK? Thank you very much.